So I wanted to share an example of our routine in active control deployment at USC. This was a zone two T-bar for type B aortic dissection and carotid subclavian bypass was already done. So I'll walk you through this. So with the initial position of the uh, CTAG active control, we do an arch uh, aerogram and here you can see that the device is sitting just distal to the uh, left carotid artery. And then, so then we do a partial deployment of the first sleeve from front to back here. Now at this point, we pay attention to the front ring and actually change the gantry angle. And you'll notice that the device is not windsocking at all. And you obtain the appropriate gantry angle by going more LAO in this case. And actually before fully committing this device, we perform another arch aerogram. And in fact, by reducing that gantry angle, we now realize that the device was actually a little bit more forward than what we intended. This gives us an opportunity to pull the device back gently at correct orthogonality and the gantry angle. As you see here, bringing, bringing the device back and, and pulling the um, pigtail back and fully deploying with a completion angiography showing successful zone two T-bar with seal of the uh, proximal tear. So again, this deployment is very controlled and stable and we really take our time. So at the same time, it is really long. So we actually went away from any hemodynamic manipulations during the device uh, deployment. So in summary, Updates in active control CTAG include smaller access, curved nose cone, multi-step deployment, and active control uh, really features are giving us tools to maximize our proximal seal zone and are really useful in angulated anatomy in our experience. Thank you for your time.